Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to look after sheep in Farming Simulator 22 and I'm also going to be looking at which ones produce the most wool and which ones reproduce the quickest. So the first step is buying somewhere to keep them and you do this by opening the shop, going into construction, going over to animals, across the sheep and you'll see we have the sheep pasture that will hold 15 sheep, we have the sheep barn that will hold 25 sheep and we have the sheep barn large that will hold 65 sheep. And then you just place one down like this. So once you've bought somewhere to keep them, the next step is buying some sheep. And there's three ways you can do this. The first way is using one of these animal trailers, which you can find in the shop. If we go over to tools, go into animal transport, and you'll see this one here, and that will hold 38 sheep. And what you do is, you go over to the animal dealer, load up the trailer, and then you bring them back and unload them into either your pasture or barns. And if you do it this way, you won't have to pay the transport fee. The second way is by going to this icon here and opening the animal dialogue. And then you can select which sheep you want and how many you want. And if you buy them this way, you will have to pay the transport fee. Now, the last way we can do this is by opening the shop, going to the animal dealer. And then we can select which pasture or barn we want to put the sheep into and select which ones we want and how many. And you will also have to pay the transport fee doing it this way. Okay, once you've got your sheep, the next step is to feed them. And if we look at the animal menu, you'll see the sheep only require grass. But if you're using one of the sheep pastures, they also require water. So if I get into this tractor here, I'll show you how to fill up the pasture with water. Now I've got one of these trailers that you can find in the shop. If we go over to tools, and go into the animals category, you'll see I've got one of these water trailers here. And I've also placed down a water tank so I can fill up the water and you find these in constructions, containers, and it's this one here. Now, if you fill up your water using one of these tanks, you will have to pay for it. But if you don't want to pay to fill up your water, then you can find any part of water on the map and reverse up to it and you can refill your water for free. Once you've filled it with water, you want to drive over to your sheep pasture and you'll see this icon here. And if we reverse up to this, we should get the unload sign come up. And there you are. Now, if you're using one of the barns, you'll not have to give the sheep water. The barn already provides it for you. So the next step is feeding the sheep. And we can do this using either hay or grass in loose form or as bales. And it will not make a difference to the effectiveness. So I've just got a bow here that I've brought from the shop, which I'll put into the sheep pasture. And if I swap into this tractor here, on the back I've got a forage wagon with some loose grass in. And this is probably the easier way to feed the sheep, unless you have some spare hay bales laying around. So if you're using one of the barns, you just reverse up to the front here, and you'll get the unload sign come up. There we are. Now if we take a look into the animal menu, we'll see the sheep pasture where we put the hay, it has shown up as grass. And in the large barn where we just put the grass, that has also shown up as grass. So it doesn't make a difference whether you use grass or hay. And that's all there is to looking after the sheep. You don't have to clean them or anything else. So they're very easy to look after. Now, if we go into the animal dealer and look back at the prices of the sheep, you'll see that some of them are 200 pounds, some of them are 488 pounds, and then we have this one here, which is £1,283. Now, the difference between the prices is the sheep's age. So the ones that are £200 are zero months old. The ones that are 488 are eight months old. And the most expensive ones are 30 months old. So what I've done is, in this large barn here, I've got eight of the most expensive sheep, which are all 30 months old. In the smaller one, I've got eight sheep which are all eight months old. And then in the sheep pasture, I've got eight sheep that are zero months old. And what I'm going to do is I'll skip ahead a few days and we'll see which sheep are producing the most wool and which ones reproduce the quickest. Okay, we're back and I've skipped ahead five days. Now I am playing with one day seasons, so that's five months. Now, if we take a look at the animal menu, we can see that the sheep that were the most expensive and also the oldest have produced 770 litres of wool and they have also reproduced another eight sheep that are worth 88 pounds each. Next is the sheep that was eight months old. 
They're now 13 months old and they have produced 526 litres of wool and they have also reproduced another 8 sheep that are worth £88 each. Lastly we have the sheep that was 0 months old and they have only produced 152 litres of wool and they haven't reproduced any other sheep yet because the sheep do not start reproducing until they're 8 months old. So it seems the older the sheep are, the more wool they produce. But we haven't got a full pallet of wool yet, so I'll skip ahead until we get a full pallet. Okay, we're back, and I've skipped ahead two days. And as you can see, we have a full pallet of wool outside the large sheep barn, which is the one with the oldest and most expensive sheep in. And there's 1,000 litres of wool on a full pallet. So if we take a look at the animal menu, we'll see how much the other sheep have produced. So the oldest sheep have produced 1,112 litres. The sheep that was 8 months old when we bought them have produced 813 litres of wool. And the sheep that was 0 months old when we bought them have only produced 305 litres. So the most expensive sheep have produced a full pallet of wool the quickest. But the sheep that were 8 months old when we bought them have only produced a little bit less. And if we take a look at the prices, you would be able to get a lot more of the 8 month old sheep than you would the 30 month old ones for the same price. So what I'll do is I'll spend the same amount of money on each one and see how many we can get for the same price. So I've bought 10 of the most expensive sheep and that cost £12,833. And for £12,711 I got 26 of the sheep that are 8 months old. So we got 16 more of them and spent a little bit less than we did on the most expensive sheep. Now the more sheep you have, the more wool they will produce. So I've placed down two new barns so that we have zero litres of wool in each one and I've put the most expensive sheep in one barn and the eight month old sheep in the other one. So I'll skip ahead and we'll see which ones produce a pallet the quickest. Okay, I've skipped ahead four days and as you can see we have a full pallet outside the barn with the eight month old sheep in. And if we take a look at the animal menu, you'll see that the most expensive sheep have produced 762 litres of wool and the 8 month old sheep have produced 1,315 litres of wool. So if you want to get the most amount of wool, your best option is buying more of the 8 month old sheep which will be the same price as less of the most expensive sheep. Also it doesn't matter what sheep you buy, they will all perform the same when they are the same age. So if you buy the 8 month old sheep, when they reach 30 months old, they will produce the same amount of wool as the most expensive ones. Now there's one last test I want to do to see what happens with reproduction if you don't have space for any more sheep. So I've put the maximum amount of sheep in this barn and you'll see that these ones are on 80% reproduction. So I'll skip ahead and see what happens. Okay we're back and if we open the animal menu the sheep's reproduction has gone to 0%. So they have reproduced but the sheep have disappeared and we didn't get any money for them. So if you don't have room for any more sheep, you will lose them. Last of all is selling the wool, and you can either take the pallets of wool to a sell point and sell them, or if you own the spinnery which is part of the production chains, you can take the wool there to be processed into fabric wool, which can then be taken to the tailor shop to make clothes. Okay, so that's everything for today. I hope this helps you out. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like, and feel free to subscribe so you never miss another video.